Hi guys, this is Sketchy Wolf, and this is a very quick view and comparison between the Corsair K60 keyboard and the uh, QPad MK80 keyboard. As you can see, quite obviously, this one is backlit, this one is not. These are Sherry Red MX switches, unless you go up to here with the escape and the F keys here and also the key over here, these are rubber doom keys so they are not actually the same feel it's a bit swampy over here it's this plastic here and here you got this click 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 switching here uh, a quick comparison, the red keys are even all the way down and they feel very very responsive very nice if you go over to the MK80 you hear the click 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 please keep in mind that this one here has uh, soft landing keys under it so we move over here click 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 and you go over here and you have the Rubber Doom, and you got the red keys. Doesn't really sound that much, but the feel is awesome, really. Uh, the overall feel of the K60 feels really nice. You got the special keys over here. It's one through six with red, and I will pick up this. Here. You see it's shaped a bit differently, it's wedged. So the idea is that you will feel the key like this later on when it's on the key. You can see there is a, a slooping towards the center. So the idea should be that the fingers will feel where you are, even if it's pitch black and you can't see a thing. The thing is that this one and this one is fairly the same size if we run the scope a bit as you can see here they are well more or less exactly the same this one has a key uh, this little wheel here and sound off uh, quick media keys on the MK80 you have these as a function script keys you need to press down sorry here we go that's the function key and one of those keys which will be better I don't know uh, sturdiness and feel I mean K60 it feels very very solid on the other hand so does the MK80 so both feels overall like very good keys uh, uh, keyboards sorry about that and the biggest problem I will show you now. I'm just going to zoom out. And oh, oh no, it's pitch black. A fairly decent advantage here is that you can see. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see that much now. It's you see this. This you can't feel that. However, I can see these keys here. Now, you don't see it on the camera. But I will go back and tell you a bit more why. It's very simple actually because if I turn the lighting off on the, as you see, those keys are not very bright white. These are very bright white, so the contrast is there. So if you do have some lighting, I have a pretty decent big screen you will get enough lighting I think to see that and also with these red keys here I think it will be decent enough bear in mind this one uh, red switch is there and this won't be here and yes you do feel a difference problem is that the difference will most likely not be there 
when you're playing a game. But when you're sitting like this and you say, oh, these keys feel nice. Hey, these keys don't feel that nice. But it's fairly decent. I mean, if you had bought a keyboard with only these, I think you say that, okay, it's a fairly decent keyboard. I will rig this with the red keys and show you the big setup later on and some more feedback on how it feels. Right now, I like this because they said that the sound should be quite low and it is and these are not dampened yet I will try to dampen it and see how that feels but all, all in all I mean with my little steel series mouse here and this one I feel that this is a decent good rig also on this one you get a bit of dust and everything underneath here and you want to get that and you can do that with a vacuum or you can have some compressed air and blow it out here you have a much easier way to do it because they are not encased thoroughly here so you can actually see uh, I think perhaps you can see <laughs> the actual switches as well here overall the feel is very nice here I think it will be a decent keyboard it's got the 20 key NKRO which means that you will have if you're playing like here, this you will have a pretty hard time getting anti ghosting or an NKRO rollover problem uh, 20 keys should be sufficient for most of us if you're an unmortal Korean Starcraft player I guess <laughs> you would be the only one to find a problem here but um, I'm not so I'm very excited to give this a go and uh, this is Sketchy with logging off. Bye bye.